Okay, it's Thursday afternoon, Thursday 23rd of April. Um, I'm just in the work van, just going to shoot down and clip the head for the Defender. Uh, that's been tested and skimmed, that's come back fine, no problems with that, so that was a waste of time taking that off. Um, I, sh I should have done a bit more research, I think, before I took that off, but you, know, you live and learn. But yeah, so yeah, I'm going to clip that and then I'll get that back on at the weekend. There'll probably be a, a video of that at some point, but I'm going to order, this afternoon I'm going to order a, a new radiator for it, well a radiator slash oil cooler and get that put on at the same time because I'm pretty sure that must be what's caused the problem with the, the oil getting into the water, or no, the water getting into the oil, sorry. Um, I didn't explain very well on that video, um, but basically I had noticed the oil level uh, kept creeping up and, uh, and I kept having to top up the coolant, so that's how I knew that the, that the water was getting into the oil, so yeah. But um, yeah, so I'm going to get get this head and then I've got to swing by Farm 2, up where Dad lives, and um, drop some stuff off. And we're going to switch the nozzles, the spray nozzles, from, I'll show you when, when we get there, but we're going to switch the spray nozzles. I've got a buzzard flying straight towards me. Sorry, he's, he's missed us. Switch the spray nozzles from 100 litres per hectare nozzles to 200 litres per hectare nozzles. Because tomorrow I'm going to do some spraying. Uh, this dad dad's, uh, doesn't work Fridays, so I'm going to do the spraying. And the grassland's my sort of thing anyway, so I normally look after the grassland. So I'm going to be doing some spraying tomorrow. We just got to get it ready this afternoon. Well, there's not much to do. Just switch those nozzles over and that. So yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll crack on. I'll catch you in a bit. There's the beans out in that field. We're going to have a closer look in a minute. Dad sprayed them this morning. Right, we're going to go back to farm one and change those nozzles. Dad's just leaving now. I've got my cylinder head. In fact, they've skimmed it off. There's still a little bit of uh, corrosion there, but they could only skim so much off, obviously. But they said it's all good. They pressure tested it fine, so I've got a new gasket kit quickly show you these beans they look pretty good this is the best field this is the field what I drilled straight into without it being cultivated so we didn't lose the moisture out of the ground they look quite good you look down here like you can see the rows I'm quite impressed but uh, Dad did spray them this morning uh, with an insecticide uh, because of, let me see if I can see, uh, the bean weevil. You see they've been nibbling on the leaves. The little weevils have been, I'm guessing they live in the dirt. I don't really know a lot about them to be honest. But yeah, they've uh, been nibbling on the leaves. So Dad sprayed it this morning with an insecticide to kill them. I know some of you won't like the fact that we're spraying the crops with insecticide, but it's just something we've got to do, otherwise they will just completely uh, eat all the crop, basically. So yeah, the, uh, I'll show you some of the other stuff another time. But uh, yeah, this is definitely some of the best, the best one, best field. Right, we go back home, back to farm one, and. Uh, switch those nozzles over. I just thought I'd mention that when I um, when I say I'm going to be spraying at 200 litres uh, per hectare, that doesn't mean 200 litres of chemical per hectare. That means 199 litres of water and one litre of chemical. So it's it's really uh, diluted down. The chemical is. I mean, when Dad when Dad sprayed this uh, these beans this morning. He had 55 hectares, I think it was, of beans, and he only had four four liters of chemical to, to put on. Uh, so yeah, that what and what would that be? Five and a half thousand liters of uh, water. So yeah, 
four litres of chemical in five and a half, I think, I'm pretty sure that's right, five and a half thousand litres of water. It's not much, is it? Friday morning, uh, we're gonna do some spraying today with the Bateman RB26. Got you on head cam, so hopefully that works out okay. There's nowhere really to stick the camera to the glass in here because it's all curved gra uh, glass. So, yeah, I'll go and do what I'm gonna do is go and do, do a tank full. I'm going to do a tank full and then I'll switch the camera back on. I just got to uh, get used to it because I haven't used this for about a year, so I've got to remember myself how to use it, let alone show you guys how what to do. Okay, so done uh, done one tank full. I've just come back to the farm to refill and then uh, and get back out. So the clean water comes out of this tank here, through that pipe, into the back of the sprayer. As you saw, I just put a chemical in the induction bowl. That goes in there. Just waiting for the water to fill up. We're on just over 2,000 litres. And what else? Yeah, this is the buttons for the controls. At the moment, it's filling up. That's to turn on the induction hopper, suction. Pretty straightforward. Uh, the empty chemical cans. I put them in this drainer, uh, you know, t just to drain any last bit of water out. And then they go, once they're dry, they go into that tub there and it gets, the bag gets tied up. And then uh, a uh, recycling company comes around and collects, uh, collects it all uh, for recycling. Okay, so we're just heading out to the field. I'm going to put this in two wheel steer because it's not very nice on the road in four wheel steer. It's a bit wiggly. Um, yeah, so just heading out to the field. Only just up this main road a little bit and we'll crack on. She's a bit steady on the road. She only does about 36k, I think it is. Um, so yeah, not the, not the quickest thing down the road. Luckily, we don't have to take it too far. I'm going to put the indicator on in case there's anyone behind me. Just around this corner, we're going to go into the field. I've got um, enough chemical to do. So I've been up to George's. He's done a bit of filming. I've done his bit of hay ground this morning. And now I've got 33 hectares worth of chemical to put on our own ground. So I'm just sort of picking and choosing a bit where I, where I spray. I'm not going to be doing the whole 55 hectares. I'm just going to do the bad bits, really. Well, right, I'll get out and open the gate. So hopefully I've got you at the right angle. I'm, I can't exactly see the camera angle, but I'm pretty sure I've got it right. So, the reason why I'm spraying this grass is to kill the docks. There's loads of docks out here. And the chemical that I'm using is uh, Dock Star Pro. So it's quite expensive stuff but it's good stuff so yeah we've just got a few fields that are back that have got docks not all of them have got docks all right so we want to go as you can see here look we want to go raise to put the boom up 
um, open, put the boom out. You'll see all this from the outside in a minute. Uh, whilst I was up at George's place, he'd done a bit of filming for me. So yeah, you'll see that in a minute. Boom out, just holding the button in until the boom's right out. I'll try not to swing my head around too much. Make you all sick. Right, and then we'll lower it down a bit. See, this morning, when I pulled into the field, I straight away, um, just because I'm so used to it with the with the fertilizer spreader going round clockwise, I just pulled into the into his field and just started going round the headland clockwise. But it is easier to go anti-clockwise because I got all the controls on this side. Right, we're backing up to the hedge here. Oh, we want to put our PTO in. We've got a PTO here that, that drives the um, the water pump. So we'll put that in. And then we'll pull this screen down. You can have a little look at that. Oh, you see that red bar there is the sprayer boom and, and the, the yellow triangle is where we're pointing. So yeah, basically I'm going to pull forward and switch on the master switch. We've got four different section switches there for the six meters. The boom is 24 meters and each one of these set switches is six meters so they're all turned on and then we've got a master switch here to turn the whole boom on to turn the whole boom on in one go so basically I'm going to pull forward and switch that master switch and we're away and a few more revs so yeah yeah it's definitely easier to go around anti-clockwise but on the fertilizer spreader because the the limiter the border limiter is on the left I have to go around clockwise so, and I just got so used to doing it. There's a nice bit of grass out here. It's uh, still got plenty of growing to do. So as I think I've already said before, we're, oh, I should have, I forgot to tell the screen that we're full. Oh well. Um, so, it's not a problem. So, yeah, as I think I said before, I'm putting this on at 200 litres per hectare. So we'll do about, I put 2,800 litres in the tank. I didn't fill it right up to 3,000 because it's hard to get 3,000 in without it overflowing. So I've just done 2,800 litres of water. Uh, what's that? Included in that is um, about 28. Um, 28 litres of chemical. Okay, so obviously I haven't got any tram lines out in this field. I've done the headland now, so what I need to do is make an AB line, so it will give us guidance of where to drive. It won't actually, it won't actually um, steer it for us. It hasn't got auto steer; it's just got guidance. Um, so we want new pattern. 
we set it to 23 me or no, we'll do it. yeah 23.5 meters um, okay gives me a bit of room for error then so straight track tick all right we're gonna press a I'm gonna to drive to the other end of the field while spraying and then press B when I get to the other end and it will draw a straight line in between. So you see all the sections turning on. With the um, auto shut off, it's got uh, several sections. I'm not exactly sure how many. Maybe 10 different sections. Um, how many is it turning? One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, 10. So the green bit is what I've sprayed. So we'll drive to the other end of the field. I just went past the gardens a minute. I was getting a, fun, a few funny looks from people sat in their gardens, but it's nothing. It's nothing that will hurt them. It's only a herbicide. They don't understand, though, do they? They just think, oh, it must be spreading in pesticide, insecticide. They think it's going to kill them. Right. So I'm going to get to this end. Press B, and now I've got a line to drive on. When I get to this that green bit there, it will automatically start switching off. There we go, look. That's what you call auto shut off. Hopefully you can see the screen alright. Alright, we're going to swing it round. There's some big old docks out here. It's not very easy to follow a guidance line. I tried it this morning when I was at, at George's, but then I luckily I was managed to manage to see the wheel marks uh, from when I put his fertilizer on. So you basically got to try and follow this red line. This is why I've cut it down to 23.5 meters rather than 24, so I've got a bit of room for error. If the boom starts overlapping too much, it will automatically shut one of the sections off. So I don't really need to worry about that. Not doing a bad job. It's not as good as auto steer though. So I've just been filled up with another load, another tank full. This is the last tank now. Um, but what I should have done before I started the last one was fill in the, oh, I'll press on that spanner, uh, containers, is tell it how much, uh, add product, tell it how much is in there, so 28, 2,800 litres I've got in the tank. 
and then it knows then I can look on the screen and see how much I've got left basically uh, yeah there is a a gauge but there's no back window so you can't see it I can see it in the mirror the little black stick poking up but yeah if you have it on the screen it's much easier if there's any any uh, questions you've got about this sprayer um, the machine or the technology I'll um, yeah stick them in the box below and I'll try and I'll answer them in the next in the next spraying video there's gonna be more spraying videos in the future so yeah we'll do that and also there's loads of grass up here when I get out and shut the shut the gate we'll, um, I'll quickly show you the grass This is the spray nozzles. I'm not sure if I got to show you this yesterday or not because the battery ran out as normal. Spray nozzles and fertilizer line, that one is, the yellow one. Fertilizer dribbles out of the holes. So yeah, I'm just gonna shut this gate. There's quite a bit of grass out here actually. And there's some bits of chickweed as well. I think this is chickweed. I'm not sure. I doubt the um, dock star will take that out. Yeah, there's quite a bit. This is growing really quickly at the moment. These tyre marks should grow straight out. That will stand back up again. Yeah, there must be a good 12 or 14 inches of grass there. the news off. I've been listening to the radio too today, it's quite good actually. Actually had some good, decent music on there this afternoon. So, I am finished. Well, yeah, I am actually finished to be honest. I'm done. Where's the time? I think it's about five o'clock, so time's getting on. Um, so, this afternoon, well, for the rest of the, my time at work this afternoon, I've got to switch the nozzles uh, back to 100 litre nozzles and wash it wash the sprayer out so yeah no uh, not too much to do got some spring barley out on the other side of that hedge looking good looking nice and green hopefully we're gonna get some more rain uh, in the coming week or next week uh, so yeah right well you might see me again but just in case you don't turn the mic on just in case you don't see me again, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. But you might see me again in a minute, you never know. I told you I'd be back. I just gotta move these stupid sheep out of the way. There's like eight sheep out in this little bit of grass, obviously just to keep it tidy. 
But uh, every time I try and go through there, they, they try and escape, so. I'll shoot them out of the way. Should have brought my sheepdog. But I left Eric at home this afternoon because the aircon's not working very well and I thought he'd get hot in here. 